You joking. You joking. I can't believe my eyes. You joking. You joking. <sighs> I cannot believe we lost another legend now. Again. If many of you remember the nightmare before Christmas or our dogs go to heaven, you may recognize the force of Oogie Boogie and the crocodile, the singing crocodile from Our Dogs Go to Heaven and Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. One of the legendary forces you may remember from your childhoods like I have heard before. And this time this is going to be another 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 legend who used to be around. We may lost James who was Mufasa, Peter who was the original force of Splinter from the TMNT 1987 series, and the other one who was Grandpa Pig from Peppa Pig. Now we lost another legend that was a week we talk about, and now we lost another legend, and that is Ken Page, who was 70 years old, and he passed away back before October. And to be honest, guys, this was a really bad way to start off Spooky Month like this, especially with October, by the way. And I know this is kind of sad, not gonna lie, and yeah, it is. It really is. And to be honest, King Page is one of the greatest forest actors of childhoods that I ever know. Especially with um, Oogie Boogie from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Now, if you remember the Nightmare Before Christmas, you may remember him who was in King Page who was forced by Oogie Boogie. And this is so sad because I remember, I remember seeing the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a really great, awesome movie. It's a really awesome movie. I recommend to everybody to check it out. And sure, there will be and will be no sequels from the movie. But you know what? This is just one best Halloween dash Christmas movie that everybody will always remember to notice of the day for this day. Now, for our dogs go to heaven. I don't know if many of you remember our dogs go to our dogs go to heaven because I do. And speaking of which, he was in this movie too, and. Not himself, but he was forced by the crocodile singing one who was in Our Dogs Go to Heaven. And boy, let me tell you this right now. That song of, let's make music together. Let's make sweet harmony. Oh, let's make music together, baby. You take the dogs and the little hang on to me. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. Boy, that song was the jam. I did not even. Now, when I was little, I didn't recognize that force who was singing because I was just a dumb kid. But. Now, since I grew up a little bit the past few years now, I have heard about this forest now, and that was King Page, who was the forest of the crocodile. And boy, let me tell you, he did an awesome job of that movie. Sure, there was many people who have mixed feelings of All Dogs Go to Heaven, which I do understand, and I really agree for some of the critics. But you know what? About the sequel, however, we do not talk about the sequel. Sure, it's not the worst movie, but it's not that great. Even thought, I mean, the sequel of Nim 2 and Timmy the Rescue and um, the Land Before Time sequels are more worse than that. But you know what? I'm going to make it a little easy for it. I may remember Dr. Go Heaven 2 as well. Even thought you may not recognize, but you know, is what it is. But if many of you remember the original All Dogs Go to Heaven, like I do, this movie was the was the greatest one by Don Bluth, and this movie will always be remembered as the Crocodile Sing, and it was my jam by the way. So thank you so much, Kim Page. 
Even if I would always remember this song from you, you really did an amazing job. Keep up the great work. As for Oogie Boogie, you did an amazing job of Oogie Boogie. The songs and everything was amazing. The forest was really awesome. And you know, also, by the way, he did live performances of that thing as well. Even thought, yeah. But also, he was in Gassy Comic Con too. You know, if he was still alive, I would love to meet him. I would love to meet him. But, Sally would never see him because he passed away and he will always be the legendary, no matter what, in our hearts. So you know what? He will always be with Mammal, as always, no matter what. He will always be the best at the Oogie Boogie, no matter what, from the before Christmas. And this movie will always be the legendary from him, no matter what. And as for all those going to heaven, it's a really awesome, great movie. The sequel, not really, nah. But the original one will always be the best one. <sighs> Too bad the sequel got ruined, but you know what? At least all dogs go to heaven. The original one will always be the best for him. And actually, he is one of the favorites from the characters from that movie. Sure, he doesn't really appeal much, but you know what? As much as I really enjoy his song that he made from that movie, he will always be the one memorable of that crocodile. Sure, I don't really recognize his name that much now, but you know, that song of Let's Make Music Together will always be remembered in the future. Thank you so much for everything, King Page. And thank you so much for being Oogie Boogie and Nightmare Before Christmas for so long, even for you did like performances and everything. Thank you so much. King Page, you may be gone and you are 7 years old. You will always be remembered these two kettles no matter what. And thank you for our childhoods, by the way. Thank you so much, King Page. Thank you for everything. And as always, we see you in the future in heaven for a fairly long time. But for now, I still have a long life ahead of me, and I will still keep full. Thank you so much for everything, King Page, and thank you for being the force of Oogie Boogie and the Crocodile Singing. Thank you both for everything, and thank you so much for everything, King Page. You will always be with me. Thank you for everything. Rest in peace. 30k subscribers.